We ain't in Florida anymore, Toto. Or Joe VT. Oh, what's up? You're making your first debut on the channel. What's up, guys? Joe VT here. What we Hello, YouTuber. Good friend of Blue Gabe and Kelly Young got me together with Nick Stanzik. We actually surprised him at his house a couple years ago. Funny story, we were supposed to go to the Everglades and we ended up peacock fishing like on the side of the road. We were so far down south. He was like, Gabe was like, you know what? We'll just stay at Nick's house. And I was like, Nick doesn't know me. You need to let him know that like I'm coming. He's like, oh, well, Nick doesn't know that we're coming. And then we hung out, spent the night in Nick's house, and we put an iguana in his truck. Exactly. Don't forget the iguana in my truck. So these are the guys that put the iguana in my truck last year, or the year before, whenever it was. Yeah. We're in Louisiana right now. We are pulling up to an oil rig. I guess that's what it is, right? An oil rig, oil platform? It is an oil rig. An oil rig right here. It's making all sorts of noise. That beeping indicates that it is a non-man platform. It is on 24 hours a day, and it is super, super annoying. It is annoying. So you guys are in for a treat. We're uh, here with the Freeman Owners event. We're on Mark's 47 right now. Got a fun group of guys here. And there's a little tournament for all the Freeman Owners the next two days. Today's practice fishing, but the next two days will be sword fishing, tuna, and bottom fishing as well. Um, we had a nice ride out here through the Mississippi River and get to see some cool stuff, see a lot of work boats, see shrimpers, see some stuff that we don't see back at home. And, excuse the beep there, that's the unmanned platform here. <laughs> Welcome to my world, Nick. <laughs> and, uh, it's a good, you know, ruined my train of thought. We stopped on the way out, we caught live bait, we caught a uh, big giant threadfin herring, and we were getting those one after another. And we got those in case we go yellowfin tuna fishing later today. We might use them for bottom fish too. But uh, everybody caught plenty of those, so. Stay tuned and we'll show you guys along uh, the next few days what happens. Master Chef Luis with the very, very custom grill. Drawer grill. You got egg sandwiches going on. You guys, we were stayed on a, what's that thing, 92 foot last night? 92. 92 Viking last night's where we're uh, sleeping at. Mark's boat there, beautiful boat. Glad they got me out here. Some Luis is making a fresh egg sandwich on the 47 Freeman right now. I'm actually fishing on this boat with Billy Freeman a couple years ago in the Keys. And they got it now, and they got uh, new motors on it, and all that good stuff. So let's see if we get a bite. Ooh, don't let him work you. Ah, Nicholas. Caught him sleeping. First big bite we've had. Takes everybody to get a little warmed up. <laughs> we need to tighten the drag on that reel, anyways. Lip, lip, lip. Yeah, right. game. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Nice, nice. Nicely done, Nick. We need a big old red snapper. We need a big red snapper. Big Those one. A guaranteed spot. Yeah. Yeah, bring it on. No, you're good, you're good. He's just trying to get to the rig. Swimming up there. Oh, a trout. Nice. Oh, trout. Oh, we got here. We got here. You put that reel in low gear, Nick? Come on. Kobe. Big Cobia. Oh, nice, oh, Nick. Oh, yeah, oh. Nice. Good shot, Mark. Oh, yeah. over the rail, under the pail. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Light up the hook. Yeah. Another one! Another what? One. Oh. This is crazy! Uh, we got put him in the live well. Here. Put him in the live well. Kobe is on double header. I'm just trying to get away though. We're gonna get him this time. Right? Yeah. He's just pre bled. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is such a cluster. Alright. Here we go. Good shot. Woo! Yeah. Oh, man. All right. I hate to say it, but there's just bigger over there. 
Yeah, a little bit. Hey, I'll take them. Hey, they all take the same with batter on their back, brother. Oh, yeah. We're on the board now. Yes, sir. Nice job. Nice cobia. Little double header. Oh, yeah. Spencer on the board. What do you got, cobia? Oh, no. Joe VT on YouTube. Check them out. Mr. Mark, thanks for having us. Absolutely. He is angry. So Kobe are one of the meanest fish around on the gaff. Yep, and uh, they spin and go crazy. Up, come down, come down. Oh boy, Kobe's hanging off around there, yeah. Yep. Look at this! Look at this! Oh, this is perfect. Someone grab. Yeah, look, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, but no, no, there's a white line so you can go underneath yeah, it. Yeah. All right, pandemonium, guys. Kobe are mean. They spin when you gaff them and change it to gaff. This one got all around the boat. He's got one on the uh, vertical jig on the artificial. I just asked Joe if they ever catch Kobe here. He goes, yeah, they do come out. Boom, three in a row, just like that. We're in good shape now. Is that what he's hitting on? Yeah, I, I ate him. Yeah, he ate him out on a chunk. A chunk? Yep, chunk about halfway up. A chunk halfway up, nice. Shark. They're getting bigger. Yeah, let's go. Yep. Yeah. Wait. Another shark. The sharks are moving in. Time to move out. Oh, good eating. I liked it there, huh? That's a Louisiana eater right there, huh? Oh, yeah. Hold that. Joe VT, strong like bull. I oh, even got your hook back. Nice. Annoyed like bull. Big Kobe on. Actually, it's a really nice one. Nice one. It was all tangled up. We got like five rods down. We we're tangled with five. He just got a shark on his. We want this cobia. This cobia crushed today. I wouldn't expect this for you, Luis. Nice surprise, huh? Take it. Joe, is this cobia season? It's always cobia season. That's what he they say in Louisiana. He says that about everything. Hey, yep. You guys oh, yeah. got a charter boat over here now. What? Louisiana Blue Water, right? Louisiana Blue Water Charters. Louisiana Blue Water Charters. That's if you guys want to fish with Joe, and um, his YouTube channel's Joe BT Fishing, right? That's correct. Trying to get a good gap shot here, guys. Oh, build up. It's a boat. Perfect. Nice. Oh, yeah. Woo. That's where we're on right there, guys. Another lemon fish, Cobia Ling. Probably some other name here, too. Dinner. Dinner. 20 sharks, but I got another Cobia. It was worth yeah. it. Of course, it was the one. He hooked it, and I was like, You want to film this shark? He's like, eh, Nah. Cobia comes out. Yep, that's how, how it works. goes. Kobe is a division for the tournament the next couple of days. You know where some are living. Well, there's five less now, but we know where the area to go to. But it's not a division. Don't want the jig. Do you want to try some Fritos? Tell me if you think they're stale. Yeah. Mahian over here. They're stale. <laughs> Joe gave me stale Fritos. I didn't give you anything. I think I wish I did. That would have been funny. Oh, they're still all right. We're going to start showing up the Mahis with the Fritos. Uh, where did you get Oh, yeah, the bottom was blown out of them. When you got a Mahi on, you want to chum for the other ones. There you go, perfect. Just scare them away, Nick. Spencer's got the Mahi of the day on. On the popper. Oh, oh, boy. Don't lose them, don't lose them. Oh, God. Oh, two treble hooks looking at us in the face. Yeah. Pressure's on, Joe. Don't mess it up. Oh, drilled him. Nice. Oh, pretty. Well, he wasn't coming up there. Don't freak out. Don't freak out. Don't freak out. Oh, look at those colors in them. Holy smokes. Don't freak out. Don't freak out. Do you need flyers? I have them. Okay. Whoo, that was so close to my face. Oh, Holy moly. You got really good color. Oh. About 15 minutes into the drift. We're hooked up. 
Surprisingly. Imagine that. Imagine that. Luis's Rick Squid. Yeah. 50 mile an hour squid. <laughs> hey, hold on. I'm more, I'm more excited about the burgers and hot dogs that are on back there, though. I've yeah. got a grill on my boat. Yeah, how about this? Customize uh, 47. The the hidden grill drawer right there. Breakfast and lunch needs are met. The cheeseburgers are almost done, but mine's actually a hamburger. No Old cheese. Old Chef Boyardee, huh? Lactose intolerant. There you go. I ate a cheese sandwich, girl. Egg and cheese. How about them Oreos, too? Oreos and swordfish. Not a bad first day in Venice. Bunch of cobias oh. and a nice swordfish. Ah, take barrel fish. Yeah, nice baby. Job. Here, hold it up. I'll get a picture of the bit. I'm no, barely hooked in the lip. Oh. Decided we were going to stop again. Uh, we marked something good. What do you got there, Mr. Mark? That snapper, I hope. I hope so too. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Woo! Oh, that one. It's human the white. Yeah. Nicely right. done. Nice job, guys. A red one, a dead Woo. one. We worked hard for that red snapper. Yes, we did. All right, we didn't get some. And these guys are from my hometown, Jacksonville, and obviously the Atlantic has has a red snapper fishery that's going to be closed forever, so. It's a nice little treat to be able to harvest these things because we Mark. catch tons and tons of them all year and we obviously have to throw them back. But you're completely overran by them in Jacksonville, so good little treat. Spencer let his go for some reason. Yeah, he released it on the uh, bottom. You guys wanted to re-rig. Yeah. Set him yeah. Right. He didn't like his knots. Oh, get him! Oh, get him, Lenny! Oh, oh yes, sir! Ooh. There you go. Oh, yeah. On the artificial. Oh, oh, baby. oh, red one on. Oh, yeah. Nice and oh, done. Yeah. Nice, guys. nice Thank stick, you. Luis. Yeah, there you go. Was this the guaranteed spot? Yep. Yeah. On the 10th spot, 10th guaranteed spot, we finally got to put in there. <laughs> Woo! Luis was holding out on us. <laughs> yeah. At least you're bleeding them out. Yep. Ah, nice one. Got it. Nice red snapper. Good job, guys. What is it, Big Bobby? It's a pounder. A little hammerhead. Hammer time. Do, no, no, no. No, no. no, no. no, no. Hey, we're a boathead. Ooh, no teeth. Look the eyeballs. Nice. Awesome fish. They're cool. Very cool. Belly flop. Ganger. What do we got? What flavor? Red. Joe, are you going to catch something up there? Or I Brand don't really want to. Is Brandon going to catch them all here? You see, I'm a selfless guy. I'd rather, I have more joy seeing other people have joy. I think Lewis is trying to tangle up to lose his. Oh, ah, nice red snapper. Yeah. All tangled up. He looks like he's so good, right? Nice job. Thank you, sir. Lenny's tight again. Getting on both the spinners and the conventional. Everybody but me is getting them, actually. And Joe. We ain't catch nothing. Yes, man. Ah, nice work, man. Good job. Oh. Red snappers. So we can't keep these red snappers like Joe said earlier. But you can keep them here. At home, you can't keep them, but here you can. Okay. Glad somebody's catching them. Ah, oh, you got yours too. Did you get a bite? Oh. Good job. Did you give him some pointers, Brandon? Yeah. He said, uh, just drop it. <laughs> just drop it. Nice. I'm finally hooked up. Hopefully on a red snapper, not a small shark. We don't need. We don't need any more small sharks. 
I hope so, because like we were saying, we can't keep these. There's a big hole right there with a bunch of water, Nick. Two days a year, and over here they get a much longer season. And right now it's open Friday, Saturday, Sunday for recreational, so. And it is Saturday, so we got tomorrow too. Happy Saturday. Saturdays are for the snapper. Oh. Hey, it's a red snapper. Red back snap back. on the knock up. It ain't a very big one, but big enough. <sighs> Great flavor. It's a dead one. Nicely done, sir. Hey, I got a red snapper hey, finally. Hey, red one. Here we go. <laughs> this could be the last fish of the day. Great day. Cobia, swordfish, red snappers. Some good. Don't fall in on us back there. Yeah. Don't worry. Right behind you. Joe will have to jump in there and resuscitate you. Me? Good, <laughs> Biggest one I got this drift, I know that. Yeah. Valid point. Nice one. I'll take it. Bad. Oh. Oh, oh, red snapper smackdown. Really? Nice. Yeah. Nice. Beautiful. Beautiful snapper. Right here, baby. Yeah, man. Can't go wrong with that. Um, we just saw a guy catch a bass. If we could get a bass on a 47 Freeman, that'd be impressive. No. <laughs> Is there really bass there? No, he's like, so we were passing the corner of Cypress Cove and I go, oh, they're bass fishing. He's like, bass, black bass, largemouth bass? I was like, yeah, largemouth. It's like, in here. Yes, we're in the Mississippi River. 100% fresh. He's like, largemouth. Yes, Nick, largemouth. The guy, Catches a largemouth holding it up. He's like, ooh, he films it. You can catch largemouth bass in here. You just saw one caught, Nick. What do I have to say? If we could get a largemouth to go with them red snapper, cobia, swordfish, mahi, and barrel fish, we'd be in good shape. Because we caught a barrel fish deep drop, and we didn't, I was too slow getting the camera on. And lots of sharks, too. And that's the 92 Viking we're staying on behind me. It's a big boat. This is the tender, 47 foot tender. How good are you at filleting fish, Jack? Mediocre? That's all. That's all we. The good news is you're gonna, have, you're gonna have a lot of practice today. I'll see. I'll see. And so, all right. I guess we're going to fillet fish. We'll see in a hour, probably. <laughs> is that you? Is that me? Yeah, you. There's only one me. That's you then. Did you go fishing? I'm making quick work with them, huh? Try it, Nick. Lemon fish. Slimy lemon fish. Kobe is a funny fish. They want to roll over when you're cleaning them. They're fresh the barrel fish over there. And golden. Yeah, they were on up. Same spot earlier. Oh, yeah, yes, sir. Luis. Luis. L U I S. Luis. I'm gonna let you guys watch him fly a cobia. Oh, you wanna do that? Yeah, we're gonna do that. I'm gonna put you on, now. on camera. Yeah, yeah, but these other fillets look mighty fine. Yeah. And Brandon's look good over there too. Yeah, you want me to take you to school? Yeah. Come on, buddy. Let's go. <laughs> take me to school. These guys are whipping them red snappers out. I run out of fingers. How many we got, Joe? We got five of them. Five cobias. Five cobras. Cobras, brown boys, cobras. Mm. I call them blue dub logs because they like to roll around a lot when you play them. <laughs> they do. They're slimy. They're kind of yeah, hard. They, and they got those spikes on top of them on those on their back there. Those they're, spikes will wreck your day. They will yeah. ruin you. 
Well, they're painting. They're painting clean because they want to sit like that, not yeah. like on their side. I agree. Yeah, you're so good on camera, dude. Joe's a natural. Please shut up. We're filming. <laughs> you guys, check out Joe's channel. What is it? Joe VT Fishing? Yes, sir. It is. Joe VT Fishing. Check him out. And subscribe to my channel too. Subscribe to his and subscribe to ours. Yeah, like, we got, we got guys, more fishing guys, videos coming your way. If you like the content, you might as well subscribe. There's a lot more of this stuff coming. And Nick is going to fish with us two more days. And here is a couple of clips of what we're about to do. <laughs> so if you guys like that, you might want to sub. There you go. Oh, that's a good one. There's a lot of fish flight over here at Cypress Cove for sure. I bet it's bringing it too. They got yellowfin tuna right there. Nice ones. Uh, he just grabbed a snake, you guys. I think could have bit you. Put it on the table, we'll fillet it. That's impressive. Nice job. <laughs> just a quick peek here inside the 92 foot Viking that we're staying on. Beautiful boat. Unbelievable. 47 Freeman's unbelievable. They got a 92 Viking too. But absolutely gorgeous. The snacks are. Back room. Back off. There's like 10 bunks or something down here. There's a pretty sight. <laughs> you think he's in here? Is this on a, is it? All right, you guys, we got the grill going. We're at the dock. Now this is the second day. So we caught those fish yesterday, the Cobia yesterday. And we just waited for day one of the Freeman owners tournament. We got some good fish there. I'll show you a couple pictures right now, but you have to watch that other video to see all this giant red snapper grouper, more swordfish and all that good stuff. But we want to eat some of that cobia, and Joe VT Fishing is about to show us how to eat it. Now, this is a special recipe we've been talking about. I've heard a lot about it, but I've never had it. Joe, what's going on here? This is called the Coke Occasion Stop. We got a cherry, and we got some pineapple in there. Room temp Coca-Cola. And you guys, I swear, this is no joke, and we're doing cobia. This is a thick piece. We're going to, you know, cut it down just a little bit, just so it cooks a little quicker. Look at that. Just like that. Not a joke. Hold on, I gotta make sure the mixture's correct. Hey, don't be eating my cobia. Just relax. We got the Coke Occasion right here. Chef Paul, you gotta put a lot on it. It's gonna burn off. The Chef Paul, great seasoning, staple of this state. Y'all in uh, Louisiana, you just blacken everything, don't you? Yeah. Pretty much. Louisiana, you blacken everything. Mississippi, you fry everything. That's kind of how we roll here. On the grill, on the 47, cooking out. They got the giant yellowfin tuna today, 160 pounder over there. Absolute whopper. Ooh, look at that. Oh, well, I gotta clean that later. Oh, boy. No. That boy. Oh, God. Okay, yeah, again. Heavy, heavy. See that Coca Cola burning off? All the sugar is staying in there, and all the bad stuff that you don't want is burning off, just like that. These people, they got a science to it now. You gotta trust me, guys. Poppy, why are you getting nervous? Because the camera's on. Now you don't want to call me Poppy. Oh, look at, look at those grill marks, so professional. Alrighty, boys and girls, Coca Cajun right here. Bam, Coca Cajun coming up. Ah, a famous recipe. Oh. I can't remember last time I had Kobe. I know I never had it this way before. What's the last time you had a Kobe video, Nick? Uh, over two years. Definitely, the, the the best videos are the videos we don't expect. And we had an epic bite of Kobe yesterday. All right, we're gonna split this in half. We're gonna eat it at the same time. Yeah. Honest review, score one through 10, okay? One out of 10. The Coca Cajun recipe. Coca Cajun recipe coming up. Mmm, delicious. One out of 10. I gotta describe the fish first for the folks okay, back okay, home. Okay, okay, Juicy, almost buttery flavor. Like I said, all the sugars, all the sweet stuff, all the good stuff stays in. I would say 9.1 out of 10. <laughs> Look who showed up. You got a Brandon Linder. Wait, well, Heck Brandon Linder. Linder. Hey, he's got some grilled Kobe yeah. for me. Yeah, here you go. You can try a bite. There you go. Take the big bite. That's my center right there. I gotta feed him. <laughs> Hold on. I'm tasting a hint. That's a, that's 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 nine and a half. I'm tasting a hint of Kobe. You can never do ten. With a little bit of blackened seasoning. I'm trying the last bite here. It's actually really good, you guys. It's juicy. It's good. It's delicious. And I give it a nine out of ten. First time at Kobe in a long time. Hope y'all enjoyed that video. Hit that like button. Make sure to subscribe. Check out Joe VT's fish, fishing channel. My channel's 9.5 out of 10. Too, and uh, that was pretty good there. Surprisingly good. So dip it in some oh soda, let guys. it soak there, and you'll oh know. Guys, that, was some, that was some great fish. One bad, right? It's pretty good. Yeah. Black and seasoning? Yeah. And well, you got to marinate in Coca Cola.
That's a M -M Cajun. Did you really Cajun Coca Cola yeah, black and seasoning? It's good. If you want any merch or fishing rods, check out the website stansfishing.com. We got a new shirt on there right now. Check it on out there. Super comfortable. Joe, we're signing off. Were you behind me waving? No. Nice job with the Coca Cola Cobia. <laughs>